All right, so today we're changing the fuel lines and the scout. All right, so I realized we put a new plastic, the plastic one in there, the plastic uh, fuel tank in it, and we didn't change the lines. So now we're basically going back and changing all the fuel lines, redoing them because they're corroded as shit, redoing the plug because the sending unit is not reading. But yeah, so I just wanna just kinda of give y'all a pre breakdown. It's pretty simple. Hardest part is when you don't, make sure you don't have a big ass full tank of gas. It's definitely easier just to do it right the first time. Um, I'll let some guys kinda of do this because I was lazy as shit. But this is the fuel tank, I need to scout. There's two straps, it's pretty simple to get. It's a strap that goes here, a strap goes, I had, to tell, I had to hitch on mine, so I had to take a hitch off. But usually there's like a little plate that goes here, which kind of skip plate which kind of bolts probably back into these holes right here. Let me clean the camera off for you guys. So we're all on uncut. Yeah, you're clean now, as you can see. But um, yeah, so I had some leakage on this fuel line to the uh, the vent. Um, all the vents were pretty much leaking because the hose were going bad. But I got a plastic fuel tank um, stock, or a stock size, I guess you can say. But um, it was leaking fuel. So um, now I'm just kind of going through rechecking stuff and redoing it right. Because um, I noticed when uh, we kept having problems, like I said, I think the last video where it was uh, had dirty gas basically. And so the dirty gas kept clogging up the uh, carburetor. And so we couldn't go nowhere. But um, yeah, it's a pretty simple process. Two straps. This is the most ghetto way to do it, I guess. But you know, when you're home, you got me a board. Good little board to have. It kind of breaks up a little bit. So you got to start all the way from the ground, all the way back up. Um, like I said, most of the lines are kind of right now. I'm taking off the uh, the fitments to the lines, trying to get them all the way where you need to be at. Uh, let's see. On this side, you have, you know, your cable to your sending unit. Pretty sure this is, uh, pretty sure this is, uh, I'm making right now, make sure this, this plastic ain't cracking, but I'm pretty sure this is, um, positive and negative. Um, just had to clean it out really good. Um, it's pretty simple, you know. Pretty easy to get to. You can see all the stuff down here. It's really simple. We got a vent over here, and a vent there, and the sending unit. You know, I got this. This is pretty expensive. Like the plastic ones are pretty expensive, um, probably like two hundred dollars. And then the sending unit, you got to put in. Um, got it off eBay. And I probably should just go in and change the, uh, the fuel line because obviously you can see that the fuel line is already buffed up too. So, but um. But yeah, for the most part, it's pretty simple. I one thing about old cars that I like is that everything's pretty simple for the most part. Manual for the most part to do things. But I guess I want to share a video of somebody who is doing a scout too. And you have to get rid of all this rust and shit. Um, and the biggest part is your fuel tank. The fuel tank was uh, definitely, I say uh, a lot because I don't want to say, I don't understand the words I'm about to say. But the fuel tank I had it was... Uh, definitely uh, metal and so yeah basically just changing all the fuel lines I probably should just go ahead and take off the main gas line and, and be done with at least I know it's right because it's already broken right here and be done with it and now I have to come back on here to change the gas line again because I got a whole tank full of gas stuff in the head and shit but you know luckily it kind of just i mean i kind of left some of the lines there's a couple things underneath there that you know your filler neck which is i think it's pretty much needs to be changed as well but for the most part everything's pretty simple to do it's just doing it right when you're under here the first time just do everything i would always suggest it's like you gotta have a little bit extra time which we all do, you know, while you're under here working. Um, just change it all. If it looks like it's halfway corroded, just 
spend an extra little couple dollars and be done with it. And then you don't have to never come back on the air for a while or ever again, because now you got the, the better rubber. But yeah, this is how to change a, uh, a Scout 2 fuel tank. Like I said, there's two bolts. If they're not rusted, you know, that's the basis thing. Luckily, the guys before me, they kind of broke the nuts, so it made it a little more easy to get underneath here. Um, yeah, guys, it's pretty simple. Scout 2. A couple more things I need to do. I probably need to go through and do the brake lines and bleed them because um, sometimes I get some squishy brakes. Or the wheel cylinders need, the wheel cylinders need to be done. I probably should just throw some paint up under here, some um, Rusto, and just um, know that it's clear but like i said the floorboards are pretty good you know for this floor i mean some starting rust spots but it's not as bad as a lot of them like it's only the gas tank i've seen some that has the complete floor all this shit just gone you know it was starting completely over from scratch you know but you know the thing is you find these scouts online of in this condition sometimes like five or six thousand dollars but you know really understand why it costs ten thousand dollars for these things they're very beautiful cars and they have really amazing transmissions but you know time you restore them and stuff like that it's gonna be about that same price you know so if you see one online for like five thousand dollars that has solid rockers and solid body you probably do best to start there unless you really want to just fabricate everything from scratch i mean i'm not the best fabricator in the world but you know this is a project you know if all fails it, it's not a day-to-day -day car so it makes it a little more easier to understand. But yeah, changing the uh, fuel tank in the Scout to 1972. Scout 2. Peace.